Hello, welcome to episode two of three of our Convos mini-series where we mix actual conversations like we normally do with scripted storytelling, which means there'll be some fictional characters and fictional scenarios for your viewing enjoyment. Thank you so much for watching. And episode three, the stunning conclusion is gonna be next Tuesday, so stay tuned for that. Our sponsor for this episode is naturebox.com. They send you snacks in the mail. You don't even have to put on pants. They bring it right to your house. You don't have to leave your home. You can go to naturebox.com and get your free sample pack of snacks in the mail. Um, so they're actually very delicious. They're very nutritious. Thank you to Naturebox for supporting this episode. Enjoy episode two. And at the end of my session, just as my angel reader ends her conversations with the angel Gabriel, she looks me stone cold dead in the face. And without hesitation, she says, Eagles. Eagles? Yeah. Remember how much eagles meant to me when we were kids? Did they? Yes, remember? Do eagles have bums? Yes. So anyways, get this. So I'm walking home, and there's a picture in a store window, and the message could not have been more clear. It, it's, it's a seagull. Right. A sea eagle. It's seagull. Right. <laughs> I would like to make a toast this Mother's Day. Should we wait for my husband? Tina, I, I, I would, but I got, I got Cornish game hands in the oven. I got a brisketta getting cold. This is the time I scheduled for the toast. I want to make a toast. Oh. Yeah, great. Go ahead, make a toast. Okay. Um, Tina, Layla, love of my life. Like a lot of people, I used to experiment in college with rhyming couplets. So, here I go. Mothers are... What are you, what are you doing? I want to make a toast. No, you don't toast. I toast it. Just stay here, okay? Where was I? Mothers. Right, um... <clears throat> mothers are the river from which all beauty springs. To honor them today is a mere note in the song the nightingale sings. Oh, You're so lucky. Cheers. Cheers. I want to do one. Oh, okay, Coco, you do one. Sure, just make it about mom. I know. If you have to make a toast to your mom, make sure you don't get your stinky bum. <laughs> that is good. You have a poet on your hands. <laughs> Again with the bums. Okay, okay, cheers to bums. Cheers to bums. To bums. <laughs> Tell them about the mug store. What mug store? Tell them. Um. Hey guys. Sorry I'm late. You told him about the eagles? I sure did, Bunny. Nice. Mm. Happy Mother's Day, Leo. Thank you. Mm. So, I didn't have time to wrap mm. it, but this gift is going to complement what Coco and Matt got you perfectly, so enjoy oh. that, okay? Uncle yeah. Dylan? Okay. Yeah, yeah, kiddo. Do you know the story about the mug store? Where's my gift? Where's my gift? I want a gift. Kidding? Well, it's... Well, you're not... Technically a mom yet. Matt! Excuse me? Tell him! I have been carrying his child for four weeks now. Right, right. If you're four weeks into med school, does that make you a doctor? Or? Well, per yeah, I mean, much, you'd pay I tuition guess. by then, of course. Okay, there was no paints, no tables, no mugs! Sir, what, what mugs? You didn't give her the mugs yet? Okay, great. Well, now my gift is gonna look ridiculous, Matt. Okay, what is he talking about? The mugs are gone. They were ghosts and they weren't in our teeth. Even the sink was gone. You guys went to go see ghosts without me? Okay, okay, everyone just calm down here, okay? That's nothing, okay? Coco and I, we painted some mugs for Layla for Mother's Day, and then we went to pick them up, and the store was out of business. There wasn't even a sink! Coco, that is so sweet of you to make mugs for me. I know. I knew it. I sensed a disturbance in your aura, Matt. Let me read your cards. No. The cards said that you would say that. 
Well, you know what? Let me read Coco's cards. Okay. Come here, honey. Like I said, everything was gone. Maybe they just like went on a plane. Did you pay for the mugs? Yes, but it's not a big deal. Oh, it's not a big deal. Like got on a plane and maybe they just went to a new mug store. They stole from my niece, Matt. She's only an Easter marriage. You give them money, they give you squat, that's stealing. Do you even know what they plan on doing with the toys? They're probably gonna take them to the kids' toy black market. Maybe it wasn't even the real mug store. Okay, there's no, there's no black market for kids' toys. There is. We saw it on Dateline. Mm -hmm. Dateline? Mm -hmm. Matt, it was on Dateline. So? Dateline! Lester Holt, maybe the real mug store is in a different world. <gasps> what? Oh my goddess. These are all from the same suit of cups. Does that mean something? Mugs are cups. Without handles. This is a sign. Just like the sea eagles. <gasps> oh, I think I just felt the baby kick. <gasps> okay, okay. Does anyone want the Cornish hens? They're very delicious. Please, Matt, who can eat at a time like this? We gotta figure this out before the black market opens. Okay, I don't think the black market has operating hours. It's not the mall. Oh, remind me, I have to take Coco's pants back to the mall. I got a student at the country club, Dave, he was a cop. Dealt with this kind of crap all the time. I'm gonna call him. Matt. I don't want Coco's work to be sold on the kids' toy black market. Can we go to the kids' toy black market? There's no kids' toy black market. But I want to go to the kids' toy black market now! Okay, Coco, settle down, all right? If you're good, we can go to the kids' toy black market later. Okay, e even if it did exist, who would buy mugs painted by a three-year-old? I mean, what could that possibly go for? Matt, a child's gift to their mother is priceless no matter what. Yes, literally. It has no price, that, 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 that's what I'm saying. So, Dave got in touch with the landlord of the store. He's sending over the address of the lady who has the lease. Okay, let's roll. Can, can we just take a second here? This is Mother's Day dinner. Exactly, Matt. Coco made those mugs for me, and I cannot bear the thought of them being alone out there without us. Bring them back. Save Mother's Day. She's right. Come on, Daddy, it's so. Hey, everybody. Um, thank you for watching episode two of three. Episode three comes out next Tuesday. Please uh, let everybody know, share, like, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff. Stunning conclusion. We're having a lot of fun doing this. We hope you are also having fun. Uh, we loved hearing from you after episode one, so please keep letting us know we love hearing from you. Uh, please like, please share, please subscribe, all that fun stuff. That. You said that? I just said that already. Now we said it twice, and I'm going to think we're dinks. Well, I was distracted by these delicious snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Nature Box sponsored this episode. Thank you very much. To Thanks them again, Nature Box. For, um, you can have it. They're actually very, they're very good. They're very, you can feel good about them. They're, there's no GMOs, there's no preservatives, no artificial flavors. Uh, they're healthy snacks. And like we said, they come in the mail. So uh, naturebox.com slash convos. Uh, sign up um, and enjoy. And thank you to them. You get for a free box. This. You can test it out. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, enjoy. Oh, thanks. thanks, Naturebox. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh. oh.